All right, guys. Today we're gonna try and finish breaking the rest of these lug nuts loose. I got a couple of them oh, a couple weeks ago, about a four foot uh, breaker bar and everything I had to do with that. So I picked this guy up. Torque multiplier. We're doing just this. There's a part number for it. So we're gonna see what we can break. You guys can see that that's what it looks like Make sure i got the right socket yep There we go. This truck does have left and right hand thread lug nuts on it. This side right now is left hand thread, so. I think I already got this one. Well, I already got that one. Well, that one's broke free. One of the bottoms already broke free, so. All right, guys, <clears throat> I got the duels put on the passenger side, getting ready to put the duels on this side. I took the super singles off. Uh, didn't film it because I knew they were going to be a bear, and knowing me, there's going to be a lot of unnecessary editing. So, the driver's side put on. I always put uh, anti-seize on the mounting flange and the studs, regardless of what it's going on. Uh, if you don't, it will go through and rust itself to the hub or to the other wheel in a dual wheel application. So make sure to clean all the loose dirt off, clean any heavy rust off. Most of this is just surface rust, so it's not a big deal. 
and apply generously. Now for those of you that might not know, this is an inner lug nut for a dual. Still has a tapered seat. Go on to the stud. And on the other end is square drive. See that? That L denotes that it is left hand thread. So, the hub socket I'm using is, what is that? I think it's inch and a half hex for the outers and then it's got a 13 16 I believe that's up and in there for the square drive yeah, I see that in there there's that square drive that the inner, inner lug nut grabs onto This particular one is a snap-on, inch and a half, by right, 13 sixteenths, and there's the part number for it. This is three-quarter drive, so I got a three-quarter to half adapter on it for my impact. And then the same thing with this one. And I see is the face of the wheel. And I see is the uh, threads for the outer lug nuts. It is not fun trying to get rusted on wheels and lug nuts off.
When you install these, you got to make sure your valve stems are opposite of each other. I usually try going about 180 degrees. I'm not worried about torquing these down because it's not going to go on the road anytime soon. I got to get six new tires for it. But when you swap them out, make sure you torque the inner and the outer of the proper spec. All right, guys, there you go. Two sets of used duels put on there. Don't mind the way the cab's sitting. It's front end's parked down into a hole. Definitely sits a lot different. Looks different. Now here's the back side of the that passenger side super single. Great big old chunk missing out of it and a huge tear. So I got a set of tires for the front to put on yet. But I'm going to hold off on doing that 
because we're just about out of daylight and it means I'm just about out of work time so thanks for watching guys